Hi, I'm Richard from EnvisionSelfHealing.com and in this video we're going to be looking at the Presbyopia Charts Exercise. Uh, in Presbyopia, you, it's a complex of uh, weakening of two sets of muscles. The convergence muscles that are on the inside of your... Uh, the inside muscles are the extraocular muscles, so they're outside the eyeball but on the inside near your nose. The ciliary body or ciliary muscles that surround the lens and a third factor is a stiffening of the lens. So as you age, the lens becomes stiff and, and hard to bend. Uh, so the muscles that bend the lens get weak. The muscles that converge your eyes in towards a target in the middle get weak. And actually, we also think that the pupils uh, need exercising so they can close down. That's another factor. Anyway, so in this exercise, we're going to be working with the presbyopia charts. And Will's going to be demonstrating those. Hello everyone, nice for you to uh, join us on this gorgeous San Francisco day. So you can look for these uh, Presbyopia charts in the resources section of uh, EnvisionSelfHealing.com and uh, I've printed out the 10 foot chart um, smaller and put them side by side in two sizes on the front page. The smaller size is the easiest to do and basically you're going to be crossing your eyes in the way that your mother and your school teachers told you never to do. Uh, you're going to be crossing your eyes to fuse these two images into one in the middle that will have a 3D effect on that middle image. So you want to start with the, the top O's, that's why I put those in there. They're easier to fuse together. So Will, why don't you first try doing this? Okay, I'm fusing. I'm, uh, I'm pretty good with this. I don't actually have <laughs> presbyopia, so I'm able just to, uh, by myself, just uh, co converge the two images and get one to come out in the middle. Now some of you might not be able to do that straight away so uh, just take your time with it, try not to get too frustrated and uh, just build up slowly with this one. The other trick we do is we use a pen and we put that pen halfway in between your nose and the chart. <laughs> there it is, the pen. And you focus on the pen tip okay. and notice the images behind the pen. Now, you're not looking at the images, you're looking at the pen tip and they should fuse into one sort of by magic. So, well, you might need to move the, the pen because it's all about the background focus. So, because your focus is, is here on the pen tip, in the background, um, you'll notice that the two images are going to combine into one. Right. So, for me, it's around here. Right. Usually it's around halfway. So, then once I've done that, I can slowly drop the pen down and try and keep the image fused um, to begin with, you might not be able to do that. You might need to leave the pen up. Right. And then as you're doing this, you also want to you fuse the image and then bl breathe and blink and try and relax into seeing the fused image. So you don't want to be furrowing your brow too much at that point. You try and relax, breathe and blink. And then once you've got it, you can move your way down <coughs> the uh, eye chart um, and just read out the, uh, read out the letters to yourself. Mm -hmm. And when you become a real expert, you can either go backwards, up and down, um, and you need to do it quick before the police <laughs> arrive. <laughs> it is illegal to do presbyopia exercises in San Francisco, so we're taking a great risk in doing this for you. <laughs> yeah. Make the most of this video. <laughs> All right, so you do the first two charts on the first page, and then the hardest chart of these, this series is the largest one, because you're moving your muscles further. You're, you're basically lifting a heavier weight by moving them from farther apart. Uh, so the instructions are the same on that chart. And then the final page are these symbols, circles and crosses. And when you fuse the two circles, you'll have two smaller dots as opposed to one small dot on the circle, and they'll be diagonal from each other. And then the crosses have two white dots on each cross, and when you create the third middle cross, it'll have the four white dots. So it confirms that you've created a fused image. And then these, the photographs at the bottom are for you to fuse and then move your uh, eyes from detail to detail, kind of combining, shifting with convergence. And that's, that's basically it. You're going to be exercising the extraocular muscles used for convergence. At the same time, you're going to be engaging the ciliary muscles and, uh, and strengthening your eyes, basically. Don't do this for more than five minutes, and in the beginning, you may only be able to do it for you know, a few seconds and then work up to it. The other thing Will is demonstrating is once you get it fused, here's an advanced sta sta stage, step or stage, 
is to move the chart around. So you fuse the image and then you um, move it around. And then that's hard to do. And then it's and it can also be hard to move it in and out because you're then changing the focal point that you're converging on. So a bit of an advanced tip there at the end. We sneak that one in. Yeah, we just sneak that one in. But that's what that's what you do after you get good at it. Yeah. All right. Don't go too fast. No. All right. So try this for yourself. See for yourself.